みなさんこんにちは。Je suis Zafira。Umri wahid wa ishroon sana。Zahaba ilal mutahak。Je fia fak mon mari。Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I can't believe it's already 2022. I personally find that the new year is always as great of a time as any to set up new goals. And this year, I decided that I want to brush up on my Japanese, Arabic, pick up some French, and also Korean. And I will be doing that with the help of italki. And this is my journey of doing that. Enjoy! Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Today I will be having an Arabic conversation class. The class will start in two minutes. Jadi aku bakal langsung masuk aja ke kelasnya. Kalau dari segi teori, aku udah belajar bahasa Arab itu sekitar sembilan tahun dari SD sampai SMP. Aku uh, masih ingat alhamdulillah sampai sekarang tentang kayak ilmu di fil amr, a lot of vocabs dan aku juga udah tahu tentang ana nahnu antuna antum cuman aku tuh nggak pernah ada kesempatan untuk mengaplikasikan itu dan aku percaya bahwa belajar bahasa itu tuh emang yang paling bisa efektif adalah kalau kita pengen make bahasanya jadi kita langsung aja sebelumnya aku udah pernah ngambil kelas ini dan aku tadi coba review sekali lagi jadi let's check ana ismi zafira min indonesia min indonesia umri Umri, Umri, This is what the website looks like. So you're gonna meet with your teacher here. Italki has this feature where you can chat with her, and it's apparently she can't connect to the website. So she's asking if we could reschedule. Karena beliau lagi berhalangan, kita bakal tetap belajar. Bedanya kalau misalnya tadi aku pengen belajar bahasa Arab, kita sekarang ngisi waktu dengan kerjain flashcard dari Italki dan flashcard ini bisa ngebantu kita untuk build up our vocab. Nah untuk ini aku mau coba yang bahasa Prancis. Tante, oke bahasa Indonesia. Ini aunt. Kalau misalnya no, no. Marie, Marie, bride. Oh married. That makes sense. Okay, need practice, baby, baby. Okay, so dari yang tadi udah aku pelajarin, kalimat simple yang bisa aku bilang adalah, je suis Zafira, j'ai deux frères, je fais avec mon mari. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Ima, kita siapa? Kuben ya, di bintik kali. ذهب إلى المتحف. Hello everyone. The reason why I'm turning on this camera in public right now is because I have a class with Italki with my Arabic teacher who rescheduled last week, and she was finally available to teach me today. And I couldn't make it back home from the museum, so I decided to just do the class here um, while I'm sitting in a cafe. Yang aku suka juga dari Italki adalah kita tuh bisa nyari guru bahasa yang cocok sama kita yang juga merupakan native speaker dan tiap pertemuan itu hanya sekitar 2 sampai tiga dolar aja, jadi sangat affordable dan worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Assalamu alaikum, Kaifa Haluk. Ismi Zafira, Min Indonesia. Umri Wahir Wa Ishroon Sana. Al An Aish Fi Yaban. Mundu Hamsa Sanawat. Adrus Fi Jami Ah Osaka. Shukran. Bye. Although each meeting is only 30 minutes, it's really useful if you make the most of your time. Minasan konnichiwa. Hari ini sebelum tidur aku pengen nge-review lagi beberapa vocab yang menurut aku bakal berguna banget nih buat temen-temen yang kalau nanti pengen datang ke sini entah untuk liburan atau misalnya untuk kuliah. Okay, so as you can see there's a lot here. I want to add another vocab. Let's explore food episode 1. I talky sandwichi sandwich natsu nuts niku 
Okay, so this kanji, you need to be careful because if you see a food ingredient or you get a snack or anything, sauce, and it has this kanji, I usually wouldn't get it just because I know that it's not halal. This is the niku kanji. This is fish. Okay, so fish is definitely okay. So you can also remember that. Yeah. And then you can proceed. And so that's basically what vocab drilling looks like. あ、新しい言語を and that's our fourth day of using italki. I'll see you tomorrow. Ketika kita belajar bahasa baru, aku percaya bahwa gak ada yang namanya proses instan. Kita harus selalu mengulang lagi apa yang kita pelajari dengan proses drilling. Selain itu, aku coba juga untuk cerita apa yang udah aku pelajarin ke suami aku karena ini ngebantu aku untuk nge-review juga. Anna Aish Phil Yaban, Mulu Hamsa Sanawat is I live in Japan. I've lived in Japan for five years. Ma'a Zoji is my husband. We got married last year. And then he's Indonesian. And Anna Indonesia is I'm Indonesian. And then Zoji Yadrus. So I'm really glad that the conversation that I have with my teacher stays in italki so I could continue to practice it whenever I want. Good morning everyone! It's another great day for a language learning and today I thought I could do two things. The first one is to use the exercise section in italki to record my short introduction in Arabic and see what people think. The exercise section is basically a place where a lot of people practice sentences that they've heard or they learned and they write that down and a lot of mentors can come to help them and fix their mistakes if there are any. So I'm also gonna do this to briefly introduce myself and I'm gonna practice my learning language by audio. Ismi Zafira min Indonesia. Umri wahid wa ishrun sana. Aish fil yaban ma'a zawji. Aish fi Yaban mundu khamsa sanawat. Adrus fi jami'ah Osaka. Takhassusu al-ulum al-insaniya. Al-an ana talibat abahath. Bahthi an al-tarbiyah jinsiya. Khalas. Okay, so because it's probably going to take a while for an Arabic-speaking person to find the audio that I sent and correct it, we're going to wait while listening to a podcast. So italki also creates this platform for a lot of teachers who are passionate in both podcast and teaching to create their own daily or weekly episodes of talking about their culture in a language that we're trying to learn and I think that is the most interesting way of trying to you know gain a deeper connection between us and the language and the culture that we're trying to understand. Today we're going to be listening to a podcast um, in Korean because I'm also interested in Korean just because Korean and Japanese have a lot of similar words because of History. I think there was a podcast about BTS. Just make your ears exposed to Korean. That's science. It's going to be amazing. You won't regret it. Then let's break it down. Oh, that's really fun. He's a really fun. Okay, so I think what's happening right now is that his reading comments 
from people who watched or listened to previous episodes. The first episode, I didn't get what it was, but I think the second episode was about Squid Game. Okay, so as you've seen in this video, that is my experience of learning Arabic. French, Japanese, and Korean through italki. Not only can you get feedback from your teacher, which I find to be really helpful, I think there is this sense of community in italki where you get to really put yourself out there and learn. And because it's a community of people who are trying to learn a new language, there's no judgment whatsoever. And the fact that the language classes do are only two, three dollars, I think is quite affordable for a student pocket. I am hoping that with this, I could achieve my goal of trying to be more fluent in Arabic especially, and then also pick up some French and Korean and keep continuing practicing my Japanese. And I hope that this can be a helpful application for you too. So for everyone, who are trying to start accomplishing their goal of learning a new language, there is a promo up until February that you can check in the description down below. Please use this gift from italki to help you check your bucket list for the languages that you are trying to learn. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I can see you again very very soon. Thank you so much everyone. Arigatou gozaimasu. Komawaya. Shukran. And au revoir.